Hey guys, Rexart here with another Weekend Chaos Era video. Today we're going to go through 41 to 50. Let's jump into it. Alright, as you guys know, we are on the process. The gear has not changed. We are continuing on from the last video. Let's go. Now, if you do want to see the gear, go back and check episode 1. Because, or well, floor 1 to 10. I don't know what I'm going to name it yet, but hey. If you want to go and check it out, you can. Uh, more than happy to. We go into A1 here with Luna. A1 here with Antonua. And then... A1 with Nathalia. Oh no, we didn't kill him. Nathalia comes in with the cleanup duty. Alright, defense down. AoE taunt. So we are going to get a counter attack from Azrina, which is completely fine. Completely fine. We are going to do an ultimate here on the Mogna. Mogna is the most dangerous out of all of them. We are going to rage up here and attack them all. Pray that we can kill them or get them close. That luck should hopefully come in and then clean the rest of them up. But we did enough damage there with Nathalia, so we're happy. Happy days. Happy, 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 happy days. 442, here we go. So obviously there's a Yolanda on this one, so we're going to try and kill her first. Try and do the last thing we want to do is deal with that crazy shield buff that she applies to everyone. So we're going to A1 here, an A1 there, an A1 over there, and another one over here. Nicely done. So defense down again with Luna Melisa and AoE taunt. So we are going to ultimate here and focus Yolanda. Didn't do enough damage. No curse proc. Let's go. That's fine. We'll rage up here with Nathalia. Neutral affinity, weak affinity, and already partially dead person. Very nice. So what we're going to do is attack Vauk here and then Yolanda. Oh. Unfortunately, that did not go to plan. That is fine. We'll just stun her just for the sake of stunning her. And then attack that one. And then that one. And then finish up on Nathalia here. Very nice. As you see, Luna did take the damage there. That may or may not have killed another champion if it was not her. She has a strong or a neutral affinity purely because she is a light champion. So this is a light next stage with a cane. Ooh, so obviously, as you may know, we are going to focus on cane first. And then try and focus on light nick this may or may not be a problem since his death immunity can not be removed so this will be very interesting indeed so we're going to ultimate here with nathalia just in case you never know you never know try and get there as soon as possible obviously all right so we are going to focus kane and then we're going to go and get gangalo and then the tree guy aoe taunt here very nice. We will focus Kane here. We do need to get rid of Kane though. Kane is a critical part for this team to die. That's fine. We will rage up here with Nathalia. Hopefully she is able and he doesn't absorb all their damage. That's fine. Salix is going to come along. Now Gangelo may or may not get targeted here. No. It did proc his death immunity which is fine. Luna Melisa should absorb the damage. We are going to stun Nick one turn here. Pray that we can get the kill here on Gangalo. Very nice. Now we just ate one it. There's no point. We just ate one it. Not much we can do. There we go. Zalex gets the speed boost and then gone. Problem solved. Easy as that. Well, I was a little bit worried at first, but then, you know. 
I totally forget that we can stun him with Luna, you know? She's such an amazing champion. If you haven't built her yet, definitely build her. She will carry you in situations like this Void Tower, for example. Huge champion to build. Huge, huge, huge champion to build. Oh, I was about to defense down these guys. Saved by the bell. Are we going to ultimate here? Just in case. Very nice. Now what we're going to do here is obviously try and kill Hydrisia. And then Rorok here. And then Godfrey. Regard for last because he doesn't take it. He doesn't do a crazy amount of damage straight away. That's okay. So we're going to attack this guy next. Take that extra damage. Nice. Nathalia comes in. We will rage up on Nathalia. I don't think we'll kill Rickard or Godfrey. That is fine. How much health do we have? Rickard has the lowest amount of health. So we may... So we will focus. He does have that buff on him though. What is this? Minus 30% damage taken. That is okay. I believe we should be strong enough to kill him though. With AK health, Zalak should be able to do it. Even with the ink. Yeah, there we go. We were not strong enough to kill Godfrey though. That is fine though. We'll stun him just to be safe. He does have an extra taunt, so we could have delayed that one extra turn if we needed to. So that would have been a big mistake if he was still healthy enough that we didn't do enough damage. But that's okay. We did do enough damage, so the taunt didn't... The, the stun did not necessarily need to be done. So that's another thing is she does apply a two turn taunt Luna Melisa. So that could mean even though they have most of the champions dead, they're still taunt and she can take that extra damage. And then if you need to, if she can survive, if she can survive, you can stun them the next turn afterwards. So they don't even get a turn. That's three turns. You can technically keep them down and out without attacking three three whole turns one champion could possibly be locked down and that's why we're using Luna Melisa at the moment because they do so much damage once you start lowering their health below 50% they basically one hit you one hit you now the first time I ever defeated Void Tower was on a rotation similar to this it was quite nasty. It was probably one of the hardest Void Tower rotations that we ever did. But that was the very first time that I was able to do this. Just because of Luna Melisa. If I didn't have Luna Melisa, I probably wouldn't be able to maybe have done the, the Void Tower. So, you know. So what we're going to do here is obviously get attacked by Lord Rick, which is fine. We did lose the Moonlight Blessing and we got a attack from Jacob. Thomas, not Jacob. Um, so what we can do is just attack William. Get the strong affinity buff. There we go. Nicely done. He did get a curse proc. Though it's only one turn as you noticed. When the curse proc is, it's because she didn't have the moonlight buff. So we got unfortunately a bad one there. So Lord Rick does strip all positive effects from people, which is fine. But now we should have enough health. So he's at 9k, 10k. So William is obviously the weaker one out of the lot. So we will attack him. Then he should jump onto Lordric. Very nice. Oh, look at that damage kicking in. Lucky Olsen's got a lot of health still. And he doesn't do that much damage. Oh, she took quite a bit of damage there. We are okay. We have a taunt. He did get... Oh... That might be bad. Oh, that was a close one. Alright, let's attack Thomas here. Oh, that's quite bad. Let's go again. Here we go. Olsen. Oh, he's quite healthy. Perfect. Lo she's done her job. She's dead. We're still quite healthy. And we're good. We're golden. That is what she's there for. She's there to take the hits. Keep your team alive enough to be able to kill them. Prime example there. That was a really good showcase of Luna. How she will work for you throughout the Void Tower. Alright, CC and Rodria. Obviously, you're going to leave CC for last if you can. Worst case scenario, focus CC first. Now, CC will not get taunt because of the two turn immunity that she gets here. So, we may have to focus CC first. 
which is completely fine. We will be okay with that. Knight. Oh, we got a bonus turn. Ooh. We should be fine. We should be okay. Should be completely fine. So what you're going to see here is we're going to do a defense down and then AoE taunt. She's not going to be affected by it because of the immunity, which is completely fine. Completely fine. What we're going to do here is attack Molhex because I don't like Molhex. Alright, then we're going to attack CC here. Take a little bit of damage there. Rage up on Nathalia. I know there's grass affinities, but she hits pretty friggin' hard for a champion. She did get deflected though. That's fine. Now we check the health here. So Akubi has 6k health, and then it's going to go to Rodriga and CC for last. So make sure you just ultimate on Akubi. Make sure he's strong enough. He can kill him. So he's going to get the attack up now, which is going to guarantee the strength against Rodria. Now she has no one to attach to. We're just going to stun her. Very nice. And we've got A1 here. Very good. Now we've got a curse proc. Even better. Ultimate for the sake of the ultimate. Because do you believe in magic, as he would say? That is the question that we all need to ask ourselves. Do you believe in magic? Now... I personally wish I was a wizard, kind of like Harry Potter, but hey, that's always a dream that we always can dream. Be kind of cool, low key. I would just want to play Quidditch. Not gonna lie, I want to be able to fly on a broom and chase golden ball around with wings. Low key, that'd be so cool. That is just what I want to do if there was a magical world out there. Um, if anything. Be able to play Quidditch. That is that would be amazing. All right, same situation here. We're gonna defense down here. AOE taunt. We will remove Luna Melisa first because we do not want to get taunted back. That's the worst thing that could possibly happen. And then Santas. Nice damage there. We'll rage up. Very nice. As you can see, Santa's has the lowest health here. Shouldn't be able to kill that quite easily. Strong affinity. Get a neutral affinity. Strong attack. We're just going to taunt her. I don't know why we need We didn't even need to do that. We could have just aid one her. That is fine. That is fine. Doing quite well. Climbing the stables quite easily here. Alright, we are on floor 48 now. Sierra and Rogi. Rogi is a very nasty champion. He does have a counter attack as it is text, but it's actually a reflect damage. So you might be seeing Rogi right now in the Sky Arena. RTA. RTA stuff. I gotta do a video on that. I'm kind of looking forward to it. Low key. I gotta do a video on Sky Arena. Kind of interesting to see how it goes. I did do my um, prelims on the Sky Arena battle already. Um, a silver. Ooh, look at that. Look at that nasty combo here. There we go. Defense down. AoE taunt. We got killed already by Sierra and Melisa. What we're going to do here is obviously focus Rodria. She is the problem child here. We will rage up on Nathalia. She will be strong enough to hopefully kill Melisa and Sierra. Maybe not. Worst case scenario is you may need to bring in a shield buff here to protect. Um, just to protect. Um, what's his name? Zalux here. So we're going to do is A2 here. Hopefully get a moonlight buff. And we did get a curse proc. Rodria is now out and down for the count. We will ultimate again on Rogi. So as I was mentioning, Rogi has a reflect damage on his alt trait here. So counter attacks with damage equal to 2% of max health. So that counter attack is actually a reflect damage, not a counter attack. So that's a big wording error. I have mentioned it to them. Uh, still has yet to be changed, but it will be done. As you can see the yellow number, it is true damage. I feel like that Rogi was kind of nerfed. Otherwise, we probably would have killed ourselves. Floor 49. Here we go. Lordric, Okubi. 
Mulligo and Tazago, or was that Rock? Let's see. A one here, A one there. Nicely done. Ultimate. Now we're just A one. Zalux gonna have a turn. There we go. Ultimate with Zalux. Defense down, AoE taunt. Do you get attack? We do lose the Moonlight buff. That is fine though. We are going to attack Molgo with the ultimate. That is completely fine. Rage up here on Nathalia. May or may not do enough damage to Molgo and Lordric. Oh, there we go. That is fine. What we're we gonna do? He's got 1.3k, so it's gonna go to Molgo, Lordric, then Dago, Tazago, Rorok. I think it's Rorok, right? Yeah. So we won't be able to kill him. That's fine. They are taunted though. So what we're gonna do here is A1 here. Right. Ultimate once again. Very nice. Stun this guy, he doesn't deserve a turn. A to there. Curse proc saved the day there with the curse proc on Antonua. Amazing. Not like that it overly mattered since he was stunned, but hey, curse proc is amazing. Floor 50, here we go. Vera, Valeria, Zachary, and Selena. So Celine is annoying, so obviously we're going to try and focus her first because she does freeze the entire team. That's the last thing we want to do is let her to get a chance to freeze anyone. Now, you should be okay for the first round because you get the AoE taunt from um, Lisa here. So we should be okay. So we're going to do ultimate here. Say goodbye. Do you believe in magic, she would say right now? And I do. I do. I want to just play Quidditch. All right, we got an A1 here, A1 over there, an ultimate here, and a Zax like that looks there. Hopefully he's strong enough to kill this guy by himself. Oof, he is just, 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 just. All right, very nice. Ultimate, we are going to defense down, ultimate here. We are going to obviously focus Celine. Say goodbye, Celine. It was nice knowing you. Very nice. So she's quite low. So what we're going to do is attack Vera now. Get a little bit of damage down on both the champions. Ultimate here with Nathalia. She may or may not make the team work. Very nice. Vera is now low. She's the last one alive. Zalux, can you do it? No, he cannot. She takes the damage. She doesn't have a taunt up, so we're going to just stun her just in case something bad happens. Nice. Antonua comes in with the clutch there with the nice damage. Single target damage. Saving the day. Anyway, that's 450, guys. That's going to be the end of the video. Take care. If you have any questions, don't forget to leave them in the comments. Don't forget to like and subscribe. I'll see you in the next one. Take care.